Greetings and welcome back. We are wrestling with reactors in Distant Worlds Universe. Yes, I kind of messed up the escort design there yesterday, and both Black Fire Dragon the 13th and Snow Husky pointed this out. And we'll just come in and uh, have a look. I think we're definitely going to have to do something with it, so we'll just hit the manually upgrade. But it sucks that I did the uh, V8 ships already, but. So we'll just go with manual upgrade. I did come in and have a look, and yes, I did indeed leave. Let's uh, sort the way I like it here. I did in fact leave one fission reactor on here, which is uh, reporting that a primary fuel source is still Keslon, which is not a good thing, because it's going to go to a Keslon source rather than a hydrogen source to refuel. So we definitely got to get that off of there. So we'll do that, and this is still going to be a Mark 10, but we'll go revision A on it. Oops, I'm typing with one hand because I got my notes in the other hand. <laughs> okay, so we got that done. Uh, how is our uh, reactors here? 240, 340, so we're still within. So I just had an extra one on there. I think we're going to be all right. Okay, so we'll save that. And I guess we'll just uh, let the AI automatically retrofit those. Okay, so uh, carrying on, we got that fixed. Uh, Black Fire Dragon also had a, uh, I don't know, there was a question about deep cover, uh, one of our Intel operations. And we'll sort by role. Uh, this guy here, uh, yeah. If you want to go into deep cover, it's it's basically just a uh, operations map that sort of stays. Uh, you get to know all the uh, inside information of the uh, the target empire, and the trait that uh, enhances that is concealment. So we could put this guy under deep cover in in uh, one of the empires, and we'd be able to see everything that's going on in the uh, in the empire. Unfortunately, it ties up this spy. Uh, you have to leave them there to get that effect. So depending on how long you want that site, uh, it depends on how long you're going to leave them there. So unfortunately, in this situation, we want to keep him stealing research. So uh, I probably, if I had another uh, good concealment uh, operative, then I'd probably go for it. Uh, I'm not sure. I'd probably go for the uh, the Harkonish over here. But that was a question on that. Um, Oh, and Blackfire Dragon apparently has a new mouse, and he really likes it. I just thought I'd put that out there. He did mention about three times in the comments, so. <laughs> okay, moving on. Uh, old Mr. Frodo and Quiqui5609 pointed out that uh, the beacon I was looking for over here is actually in this system with the pirate. And if we come in here, we'll see that it is an actual pirate planet. Uh, this place has a criminal network on it, so it's got all three of the uh, pirate uh, facilities on it. So this planet actually belongs to the pirates, and I think I might have pointed that out once uh, earlier in the series too. I noticed that, but this is the planet that has the rune on it, and the rune we don't ha we don't know yet. We haven't investigated, and good luck getting near it too. Uh, I could probably bring an explorer in just to see what it is, but you know what? I don't think we're going to be able to do much about it anyways, considering this uh, pirate's in here. Just see how strong they are. 64,000 firepower. See, we're, we're beyond the point in the game where we can tell at a glance whether these pirates have a planet destroyer or not. Uh, it's possible they might. It might be just uh, ship strength that, that's given them the 64,000. But they're concentrated over by the Indus. So I think we'll just let those guys sort of battle it out with them. And hopefully they don't have any agreements with them, maybe. I don't know whether we can tell that. Yeah, we can't tell. Okay, uh, so that's that. So yeah, I guess I won't really worry about that beacon too much. I uh, can't do much about it. I don't know what it would be. Granite Tomb. Yeah, I'm not sure off the top of my head what that is. So I guess we'll just leave that for now. Uh, not much we can do about that. Okay. Um, and Quiqui5609 also pointed out that we have alien ships that were finished. So let's just come in here, go to our military. And we'll uh, scroll to the bottom. They should be somewhere near there, somewhere. I think I did build some ships recently. Uh, here we go. Uh, there we are. Uh, you're refueling, what's your design like? Uh, phaser cannons, nothing overly great, I don't think. 
a little bit advanced tech. Quantum engines, I don't know whether we have that, but we definitely don't have the mega density. So we'll definitely get a, a tech boost if we destroy, or if we uh, disassemble that one. So I think I'll do that. So he's off for retirement. Uh, you're in there. Uh, there's another destroyer. Have a quick look. I think I was going to use this one just because of the rail guns on it. Yeah, mega density again. I might just maybe keep that one. You know, just put you in the second ancient. And cruiser. Wow, we got a bunch that aren't in fleets here. Uh, cruiser, I'm probably not even going to look it up. It's, it's out of fuel, so I will definitely put that into the second ancient. Um, now, here's our frigate. Let's have a quick look here. 100 firepower. Ooh, it's got a repair component on it. Yes, that's got some tech on it. Well, I think, I think... And you're right in Homeworld, too. Yeah, I'm going to go for the uh, tech, boon tech bonus on that. And Insidious Backstab. Yeah, pretty much the same design, I think. Okay, we'll send that off for uh, retirement as well. And what do we got? Yes, I should have had the look at this off camera, actually, now that I think of it. Okay, we'll throw you in our second ancient. And we'll look at the design on you. Hyperfusion reactors. So there is some tech on it. Okay, maybe we'll retire that one as well. Okay, and I think I'll just leave the rest for now. Uh, it's probably, a f yeah, I'm going to have to go out. I'm going to have to go through these off camera. I'm not going to do that all right now. But those are the latest ones I sort of got done anyways. Okay, so that's that. Um, yes, and Snow Husky brought up the techn Techno Nexus that we're going to settle, eh, wherever on earth that was. I think, oop, wrong screen. I think we want to come into Expansion Planner. We should be able to find it. And I think I kind of recognize what that rune looks like. So, uh, is it that one? Forgotten City, nope. Nope. Ah, there it is. The Techno Nexus. Okay, we're, we're running off to settle that. And there's the colony of the ship right there. Smiling Rebel. Okay, now the question was, is it being built in a stupid spot? Let's go have a look. As in, uh, not very big, uh, very good uh, shipyard. Uh, let's just see... Smiling Rebel is being built way up there. So let's select and go to, and we'll zoom in. Yes, so it, it's on Chad. This is this is actually our big planet that we took with uh, full of uh, Gazurians. But let's just have a look at the uh, construction speed. Speed's not too bad, but I think the problem here is going to be actual cargo. Yep, there it is. So we're slowed down on like just about everything here. Yeah, I don't see much happening here. So unfortunately, that's not a good spot to be doing this. Um, but we are building actually uh, some colony ships here. So what I think I'm gonna do is just get rid of uh, the one on Chad. Yeah, we'll just scrap this one. It's only 8% done anyways. I thought there was something wrong there. So we'll get rid of that one, and we'll just use one of the ones we're building here. Uh, we've got three coming for various purposes. Uh, four, actually. So yeah, we'll just uh, grab one of those to do that uh, Techno Nexus. And I think we actually have one ready.
No, they're all still uh, under construction. Okay. Um, yeah, I thought somebody said one was ready. Okay, uh, so we'll, we'll do that, and we'll try and get the techno nexus done that way, rather than build that uh, colony ship up here. It probably get to end up getting destroyed anyways with those pirates in there. So we'll build it down in homeworld instead. Um, Snow Husky also suggests coming through research and cleaning up all these uh, all these ones that have a bit of research on them. Uh, that definitely isn't in my plans, and I've sort of done that once already. But I see we got a bunch more happening now. So yeah, that's that definitely has to be done. Not so much in this tree. There's a couple things. Oh, that one there. Yeah, so I should almost get some of this stuff queued up. I think we're fairly far ahead at the moment anyways. Stealth. Yeah, so we do have to come back and clean up all that. That's fine. And he, uh, Snow Husky also suggested, and I kind of think this is a good idea, because I'm having trouble uh, remembering to go back and put my uh, intelligence agents to work. I'm going to put the uh, intelligence missions on suggest, and this is a good idea from Snow Husky. Uh, we'll put them on suggest. That way I'm not going to forget about my intelligence. As soon as I see a thing come up saying, oh, put your intel agent to work, then I'm going to know, oh, time to do that. So very good idea. We'll do that. I'm almost wondering at this point in the game whether I should maybe automate a couple things. Um, yeah, we'll keep going. Uh, Snow Husky also suggests stealing from the Comino, which are... Um, oops. Are these guys here. They are tech rich. Unfortunately, something's happened with their uh, counter espionage and they're a lot tougher to suddenly spy on. Uh, they've only got plus one percent from better spies, but I get the feeling they have a really good counter counter espionage uh, agent, and that sub uh, dropped our success rates considerably. We actually lost uh, one, maybe one or two uh, intelligence trying to spy on them. So I'm just putting them on the back burner for now until maybe I get my spy built up a bit more. And uh, Snow Husky also suggests stealing some tech from the easier targets too. Uh, it's a good idea. We'll look at that in a bit. Okay, um, Ryan Brown also suggested to move our one of our colony governors, uh, specifically the one at Hube. And he's saying to put him to Chad. Now, the reason I had him on Hube is for the population growth. Uh, Chad, I believe, is fully grown up. We're just there, and it's got 22 billion Gazarians on it. So it, uh, the population growth there isn't going to help a whole lot. Um, I think I'm just going to leave him here. But I wouldn't mind maybe something on Chad. Maybe we should go have a look at that uh, colony just for a sec. Oops. Okay. Um, let's see what we're all about here. Yeah, we're maxed out. So there's no point in putting that uh, colony governor here. But let's just have a look at other stuff. Uh, we're taxing at 15. Yeah, you're not the happiest people in the world either. And I just noticed we have pirate facilities in here again. Um, yeah, we got shortages here too. Yeah, I'm not sure about a colony government. I should get something up there, I'm thinking. But uh, just which one? What are you about? Colony happiness plus 28. Corruption reduction, minus 10. So he might be a good one to put up there. Um, we have a, a regional capital on that colony anyway, so uh, corruption isn't going to really be an issue. So that red really won't affect us up there much. I'm just wondering, Nintan 1, what is that? And just see what that's about. Okay. I should get a uh, resort base here too. Yeah, this is that old Diute planet. I think I tried building one there and it got destroyed. Anyways, uh, that's not why I'm in here. Just have a look at a few things. Um, happiness. You could use some more happiness. So what I might do is take, uh, actually, that's why they're happy, is if I take that colony governor off. 
plus three. Oh, I don't think it's going to help much. Uh, between the governor and the leader, it's plus 35%, which has given us plus three. Not a big deal, I don't think. Um, Chad, how happy are you? You could use some happiness. So I think I'll do that. We'll take that colony governor. And we will put him on Chad just for the happiness bonus. Okay, so that's that. Yeah, we'll definitely leave you here, I think. Yeah, we don't need to worry about population growth too much here. Colony ship construction speed. Well, we got the back here shipyard, not a big deal. Okay, so that's all looking fine. Okay, and Martin Randall says we have uh, construction ships that are done, and he's probably right. Yeah, I see a couple no missions here. And you're sitting in here for whatever reason. You probably came in here to refuel. Okay, so you are obviously in a debris field. Well, might as well keep you going. And I think everybody else is still working here. That's Yakuru. Nice of them to come in and uh, protect us here. And I think this other debris field, where was that? Over here. Oh yes, we got a plan to come up here yet. Because we have Caribbean Spice on this planet here. And it's too far away from existing colonies. And I did have a plan. I thought. Yes. Oh, that's not going to... Yeah, 0.5. Even if I grab that one. Probably not going to be within range. I might have to just mine it for now. I don't see any other options. Ooh, what's that? That's an independent in there. Still too far away from that. Yeah, I don't see how we're gonna we're not gonna be able to colonize that. At least not right now. Let's see where we are in the uh Oh, I do have desert. But that's fine, it's just the uh the range that I've implemented in this game that's gonna prevent us from getting that. I guess we're just gonna have to mine it for now. So anyway, let's see where our first ancient fleet is. And you're repairing still. I think you were almost repaired and then we had an attack in here and they got damaged again. Okay, and second ancient. Let's just see how you're doing. You're still trying to refuel most of your ships here. And you're still out here. Yes, you're coming back into where our lore's fruit is. That's a pretty hot spot. Well, we got a base on it. That's right. We managed to get a base up on it. I think it's just about done. Yeah, seven unbuilt. So hopefully that fleet will get back. There's a couple of the ships there now already. So you do that. And yes, it, that just reminds me. Hidden pirate base. I'm trying again. Okay. Attack. Okay, I think we're pretty much pirate base free for the moment. Alrighty. Um, And they're still raiding down here. Now, I had a second assault down there somewhere. Oh, that's second ancient. Second assault, yes. Still trying to repair. Wow. Man, those guys are never going to get repaired with these pirates.
And just out of curiosity, I see we're kind of losing here. Um, medium spaceport, are we on the latest design there? I think I did all the spaceports. Okay, um, how's this spaceport holding up? Well, considering most of my ships just pulled out, I don't hold much hope for that. That's a tough spaceport, good. Research and hyper, okay. So. Okay, I think we held them off. That's an awesome spaceport. Holy cow. Boarding a couple of these, looks like. Okay, excellent. Okay, I guess I should just let that go. Looks like that's sort of under control. And 13th Fleet. Uh, automate that. Based at the mining station, Dayu 1 mining station. I think we'll rebase you here. Okay. Let's get you back into the action. Okay. Yeah, well, good luck with raiding that. I think I've got tons of troops on there now. All right. Um, let's see what our first ancient is up to. Hurry up and repair. Let's just check on these. Make sure they're not uh, stranded anywhere. Nope. Why do you have no mission if you need to repair? I'm going to reissue that order. Some of these ships don't have repair missions on them. Capture the Bleak Mauler. Let's see what kind of... Uh, got another one too. Phaser Lances, Point Defense. Or Phaser Cannons actually. I don't know if there's any advanced tech on that or not. Oh, you know what? Just join that 13th fleet. Or the second assault, one of the two. Maybe we'll go with 13th fleet. There. And we had another one in here. I'll just leave that automated. Yeah, looks like it might be it there. Same design, yep. Okay, you also... Join my 13th. Hopefully they'll go off and repair on their own. There we go. Got another one. Ooh, that's a nice one. Nice cruiser. Nice. Okay. There's advanced tech on it, but I don't care. I'm keeping that one. 440 firepower. That should uh, turn the tide here for sure. Uh, join my 13th fleet. The reason I'm putting them in there and not the second assault is I eventually want to pull a second assault out of here. And what's that one? Ooh, we're going to get this one too. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, that spaceport's taking a hammering. It's got six damage now. Wow, boarding everything. <laughs> Come on. Oh, it took off. Okay, we should get a message about that shortly. Maybe. We have boarded and captured. Yes, there it is. Excellent. 
exact same design as the other one, perfect. Okay, you join my 13th. How's the 13th looking these days? A few more ships in it. Okay. So, now that that's happened, um, let's just come into ships and bases and we'll come to the bottom of uh, the military list. And that should show us all the ships we just captured. Yep. Okay, haven't done this. Okay. Uh, you're way up here though. There we go. There's another one, 13th. That's fine. Now you're way up there. 13th. All right. I'm just grabbing the ones that are sort of in the area of the 13th fleet. But I guess I could probably just stick most of them in there. You're way up in Aquarius. Hmm. All right, do it. I don't care that they're not actually there. I just want this fleet built up a bit. Okay. That's a few ships in the 13th. And you're off to retire. Okay, so that's all caught up. All right, so now... Um, what else do we need to look at? I guess carry on. First assault, are you done refueling? Yes, you are. What do we need to do with you? you got one damaged ship, I see. Two damaged, I'm assuming that's just armor. Ooh, and a point defense. Okay, well, I'm not going to run off for uh, repair on that, but let's maybe use you for something. What can we do here? We do need to get rid of some more pirate bases. I might get rid of these two that are sort of right in this area. So what is this one? Kind of zoom right in to find out, I guess. Oh, there's two of them in here. A small and a small. So there's two small spaceports in there. Oops. And a small one up there. So I'm thinking that this one fleet should be able to take care of all those. So we'll bring those up to this area. Okay, and where is my third assault? I think I got a third assault. Yep. You're sitting in Homeworld. And you're actually fully healed. Or repaired. If I shouldn't take you out just for a quick... Yeah, just uh, do these quick hit and runs here. And our agent was successful and instant jump initiation. Okay. Um, yeah. Just trying to think here. Um, yes, yeah, so we got... Uh, Got construction ships we got to put back to work too. And I think I'm just going to do the same thing as I did last time. Just come into the planner and just pick the, some of the closest stuff. And we'll sort by distance. At this point, I'm not going to worry about the ones with plus signs. I'm sure they're probably done what they're doing. And there's still some over in the debris fields that are still working. So I'm just going to start queuing some of these up. Keslon and Helium. Way over there. Yeah, maybe we'll do that one. Helium is always good. Golden Steel. That's over there as well. Sure. Again, these might just get destroyed immediately. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, same place. Okay, we'll go for that one. That's sort of up in that area. Hmm. 
That's sort of by home world. I don't think we need to worry about that too much. That's actually not bad looking source of stuff. No, oh, looks like a lot, but isn't really. Lead and iridium, sure, we'll go for that one. Yeah, let's just get this done quickly. There's pirates in that one. Ooh, more fuel. Yes, I'll grab more fuel. All right, we'll go for that one. More fuel. Sure, we'll grab that. And hopefully not... I'm sure a few of these will get destroyed, but hopefully some of them will stick around. Wow, that's a lot of construction ships. This is taking a while. More helium. Ooh, that's over in their area. I guess we got mining rights there, don't we? So we're starting to get a little far out here at this point. Oh, well, that one's just in there, so maybe we'll go for that one. And that's the end of the constructors. <clears throat> uh, let's make sure a few of them are still repairing here. Refuel. Repair. Okay, so we're still good. All right, uh, carrying on. Thirteenth fleet's going down there to refuel. Ugh. All right. Well, we still got the second in there. That's not a problem. Oh man, capital ship. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, I got a few things in here, but wow, they got carriers. Capital ships, cruisers, that's a tough fleet. Who is it? Wow. And you're definitely a fuel source. Well, that sucks. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to do much about that. What's this fleet? <laughs> okay. Not much in that one. I'm almost wondering if I shouldn't bring. How is our first ancient fleet doing? Perfect. Come on down. Ah, and here we go. Perfect. Here we are. Uh, what was what's the mission you're suggesting against the Akuru? Phased beams. Well, let's have a look at the Akuru here for a sec. No relationship, but they're pleased with us. They're just north of us too. My, that screen's taken a long time to open. Uh-oh. There we go. Uh, ooh, you got tons of cash. I don't know. We are a fair bit of ways ahead of you. Now, who's the intelligence agent, first of all? Arl. What's Arl like? Okay, so he's sending out the right, the proper agent to do that anyways. I'm going to approve it. We'll see what happens there. Although, hmm, how many months is it doing? One month. Oh, no, 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 no. 
No, 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 I'm not taking that kind of chance. Okay, we won't be using that again. Okay. Let's just see what they have anyways. Research. Yeah, they don't have a whole lot of stuff. So I don't... Ooh, they have swift robotic repairs. I think... Is that their unique tech? I think it might be. I'm not sure I want to tick these guys off just yet. And let's just see if these guys have lost their counterintelligence agent yet. Let's just pick a... Oh, I don't know. Just pick anything. Yeah. So they're still pretty good on the counterintelligence. And like I said, I'm not bothering with anything that's not in the 90% anymore. I just lose too many intel agents that way. So we'll go back to our buddies, the Grand Undas, and see what they have left. I know they're pretty... i, I got to go through and figure out uh, just who's easy to pick on. i got to go through. It takes me about half an hour to figure all that out, so I'll have to do that off camera. Uh, try research. What else have you got? Yeah, I might as well try that. 92%? Sure. Okay. And territory map. I think I'll just ignore that. I just saw a colony ship under attack. Oh, yeah. I didn't cancel that, did I? Or did I? Oh, no, this is, this is a different place. Okay, never mind. I thought this was Chad. It's not. Okay, so they're going to attack that colony ship on us, are you? Well, I'm on my way down here with this fleet anyway, so... Hopefully we can get there before this goes down. Wow, my system is just tanked right out doing this. Okay, so let's come in and have a look. Let's see how you fare against this. That's our first ancient. Can we, how much capture do we have on this? It doesn't say anything. I don't think I have any capture on this fleet. Okay, I guess we're... Oh, we must have capture somewhere. Ooh, are we going to get that? That would be cool. Okay, um... Let's target that one then. And it just took off. Yes, I think they're running. Now, how's our colony ship doing over here? Has it been destroyed? Yep. Okay. Whatever. I can rebuild that at Homeworld anyways. Come on, get that. Ooh, what's over here? Carrier. Okay, so we've got another, uh, woo, that one's pretty good too. Seven damage to, okay, yeah, join my, hmm. Oh, go to the 13th. We'll just keep building that one up for a bit. Okay, so first ancient. Now you're damaged again. Ugh. We save our, yep, save our refueling point anyways. Ah, we got impact assault blasters now. And we have tech to research. Okay. Uh, let's see. That would be nice, but I think we can hold off on that for a bit. Seen, uh, that would be good. 
Let's go for that. Get those re robotic repairs going and then uh, won't have to worry too much about running off to repair that one damaged component. I'll get better shields. Okay, so that's all queued up. All right, so uh, still trying to get that carrier, are we? And it's gone. Okay, so let's bring you. Uh, should I go for repair or? Yeah, I guess I might as well. Okay, how are the other fleets doing getting in position? First assault is there. Okay, just got there. And how about a third assault? It's ready too. So maybe what we'll do is we'll round out this episode by uh, clobbering these bases and we'll hang it up for the day. Okay. Um, let's get in here and do this. And Chad is under attack. Hard to tell what's going on under that. <laughs> And lost ship location revealed. After destroying the pirate base bandit's lair, we found a data core floating in the debris. Um, it's a base adrift somewhere in the Lorida system in, in sector H6. So we probably have a beacon going off for that. Okay, first assault. They're still firing. Well, go repair. And our intelligence agent just got back. Okay. We'll come in and we'll do this. Ooh, two of them in here too. One's not finished, so we'll go for the completed one first. So we'll get that done and come in quickly, put this guy back to work. And well, just because it's quick and easy, and I know that they have stuff, I'll just go for them again. And I will try and sit down and research who has a decent tech to steal here for the next time around. Um, quantum micro utilization that gives us those better reactors. And yeah, I think we're halfway done that anyway, so we'll see if we can pick up the other half. Okay, and we're coming in here. We'll finish off the episode with some destruction. Target that construction ship, thank you. It's hard to tell what's going on in all this. I think the base is going down. <laughs> I think. That one's gone. Okay, do a bit of cleanup. I think that's probably going to be about it for that base. There's a bunch of ships in here, I see. Okay. And I think that pretty much takes care of that. So we'll send, oops, 
send you off for repair. Okay. Now, what? something happened here. I was going to go look at it. Uh, we got... Yes, that's right. We uh, investigated another ship. That's it there. And it's a troop transport. So I think I'm not even going to look at that. I'm just going to actually just go and retire that at near a shipyard. We'll be fine. Okay, so I guess we'll uh, end it on a high note. We got rid of a couple more pirate bases. Not that that's doing us much good. And I see that's that beacon going off. Do I have any... Okay, there's an exploration ship right there. So maybe we'll get in there first before we hang this up and figure out what that is. And we're at 45 minutes or 46 minutes, so we'll uh, just finish that off and we'll uh, call it a day. Uh, cash flow's a little bit in the red, but I'm not going to worry about that too much right now. Uh, we got tons of bonus income. Well, not tons, but uh, it's keeping us afloat anyways. We've got lots of money on hand. I should almost start uh, spending some of that. Um, hmm. Did my first assault get home already? Yeah, it did. Okay. Nice and quick. And speaking of pirates, let's go have another look in here. And they're busy again. So we'll scrap that or attack that. Man, you got to be diligent on this stuff. <laughs> oh, that one's done. Oh, man. How'd that get away from me? I think I got enough to do it, though. Attack. Yeah, it doesn't take them long to build these things now. Okay, so that should take care of all that. Okay, and we'll just wait and see what this uh, beacon reveals here. Oh, they're raiding us like no tomorrow here. No, get out of the way. I want to check my uh, long range scanners. There we go. Oh. Okay. Contra micro utilization. Oh, just about. But we can research the rest of that. Okay, well, we'll put them back to work since we're thinking about them right now. Let's see what else they got. Again, just because I know it's here and they're quick and easy. Uh, advanced troop transport, advanced happening. Enhanced crew systems, let's do that one. Just pick up all that little tech that I generally gloss over in favor for military stuff. Ooh, they took 25,000 credits. Good lord. Thieves. <laughs> okay, so we should be approaching this. There we go. Abandoned base acquired. So investigate. Um, appears to be in good work and order, so nothing special. Just uh, check it out. It's got a long range scanner on it. Perfect. Uh, some shatter force lasers, no shields or armor. This thing isn't going to last long. It's not costing us a whole mu whole lot either. But let's just have a look. Let's see what our long range scanners are showing us these days. Yeah, we got pretty good coverage here. Okay, uh, 12th fleet. Oh yes, I, gotta, I forgot I have a scientist sitting there. You should almost beef that little fleet up too. Okay, so I think we'll call it to a close here. I got a couple things done today. Yeah, I took out a couple pirate bases and uh, tidied up our escort finally, I hope. Let's just have one more look at that because I do not want to be looking at this again. As far as those reactors go. Yes, I did do that. Okay. 
Good enough. Uh, is it worth coming into scores and everything? Hmm. I'm guessing we're like sixth place somewhere in there. I'm not going to worry about going through it too closely here. Yeah, still good on population. Territory, we're still second place, but that's okay. Economy, yeah. <laughs> Fourth place in overall strength. And you know what? For an extreme game, I'm kind of pleased with that. And Tekans have top spot there, which is not a big surprise. Hey, okay, I'll pop in here for a sec. Okay, and just have a quick look at our research. Uh, 550, 246, 36. Yeah, we're still in line there. Um, still spiked on the high tech. I'm almost wondering, uh, what do we got going on here right now? I should try and get out here. It's not built yet. Um... I could use that maintenance savings. I think we're stealing that actually. So I might uncue that for the moment. Um, I needed that for something. No, I was thinking of that one. Okay, I might uncue that as well. And I'll leave the passenger maybe because it's just about done anyways. But yeah, I would like to get in there. I'll just queue it up anyways, just to sort of remind myself later that that's where I was going. Okay, so if you're still with me, thanks for joining me, and we'll catch you next time.